this uh, kind of kind of builds up around your stoma like a uh, turtleneck. Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I ordered some new products um, for my ileostomy. And these are products I've never used, and I wanted to give them a try. Um, some of the products um, I used one time, and I didn't give a second try. Maybe I should give this another try. I don't know. But right now, I'm going to give you my own thoughts and reviews on. Um, the first one is the, what's the name of these? Osteo-Ease Vent. It is these little things. Um, I had one on. And I had it on right. Now, these are supposed to be good for ileostomies and colostomies. However, it's just this little tab right here. You are to clean the area uh, really good with alcohol. Let it dry. Then you take the backing off of this you put it on the pouch and then from the inside you push the hole through and then you snap this um I did that I woke up that's still in place um I woke up with my bag leaking I don't know if it is because I have an ileostomy and mine is always always liquid um, so that could be part of the reason um, because you know there's a lot of things that just is not good because of having an ileostomy because it's always it's always liquidy um, you know, I say this about, um, pouches, um, you can get one with the vent, you can get one with charcoal, um, those are never going to work, and the reason is, is because it gets saturated, it gets saturated with the, with the output, and, uh, with colostomies, they work well, um, and I know because I used to take care of people with colostomies, um, and it was just, just by, by my, my luck, I ended up with the ileostomy. Um, and it's something different. I, I never took care of an ileostomy, which is nothing different. It's just from small intestines, and it just runs constantly. Um, colostomies, you can train to be uh, continent. Ileostomies will never be continent. They're always going to be incontinent. So you're always, I'm talking to you right now, and I'm pooping. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, I was not, I was not, um, impressed with that. I may give this another go. I don't know. I'm not impressed. Maybe if you have a colostomy, you might want to try it. Um, my husband said that I had, um, these came in the mail. Um, I don't know if he brought them up to me. I don't know if or or what he did with them. I don't know. Um, you can contact the supplier, and they will send you um, uh, a few to try before you order them. 
my insurance paid for them. Um, there's really not a whole lot for my ostomy that my insurance won't pay for them. Uh, if I order something new, uh, they will send, uh, my supplier will send something to my doctor. My doctor writes the script out for it, and that's the end of that. Um, the other thing that I decided to try is odor eliminator drops. Um, I've never used odor eliminator, um, because you can buy, um, mouthwash and, um, uh, some, uh, small cotton balls and cut the cotton balls up and saturate it in a cheap mouthwash and stick it in your pouch. Um, but I always seem to forget it. So I thought, you know, the bags that I have are the, um, Sensura, um, what are they, Mio, and those bags, the they pouches, they don't, they don't hold up very well. They don't hold up as far as odor type things, and, um, I, I put the cover on, on the filter, um, and I usually end up having to change that pouch before I have to change the blanket. The, I call it flange, you guys call it barrier, uh, skin barrier, what do you want to call it? Anyway, um, and, uh, so I decided to try Odor Eliminator Drops by Cardinal Health. Um, I usually put about three, four drops in it, and it helps. It really does, and I haven't really noticed any odor anymore. Um, it seems like I'm the one that notices it. Uh, nobody else does. I think it's just because I'm just more in tune with my body, and, you know, uh, and then, too, it could be because I empty it, and I smell, and then I always use, um, like I have a I have an old big red bottle that I keep I keep it well filled up with water so I can pour it to at the in the end of my bag in it and squish it around let it get all that stuff out and then I'll put in some more drops so it doesn't have an odor and it t takes care of any skin that could be um, open uh, and then if, if I do then um, if it's not too bad then I'll put some more paste on it. Uh, but however, now I have tried this other stuff. Um, I've been using this, and I I really really do like this a whole lot better than Coloplast or Hollister Paste. I don't know how to pronounce it. It is Kyrea Five. Um, it is a paste by Hollister. This is, I don't know how to describe it. This is, this is not like the paste that you get with Coloplast or the regular paste you get with, with Hollister or Convitec. This this is more like a vinyl type stuff. I mean, I put a little bit more on around my stoma. And then I squish it out to the sides where I have the indentions um, from the uh, scar scarring and everything from the mucosa. From when I had the one um, surgery. Uh, and, um, anyway, and this, uh, kind of, kind of builds up around your stoma, like a, uh, turtleneck, and I did, I did this with, with the paste with Coloplast and, and Hollister and Convitec, um, I would use, um, 
my hair dryer and I would dry it um, but this is different I mean I still use my hair dryer on cold on cool and but this feels like a vinyl or a soft plastic and then um, with that then I started using the Hollister um, rings and I like the convex oval rings these are awesome let me tell you what I love these I no longer have um, any any skin breakdown at all around my stoma um, as a matter of fact today I didn't even use a skin barrier and I had it out but I didn't use it um, it's just this is all different and this is awesome because I usually have to use um, a powder and um, no. And what I do though is I use my hair dryer and I heat this up. And well, of course, you gotta take the stuff off of it, but I heat this up. Then I put it on my body. See, people say to put heat, put this on to your um, barrier, and I don't do that. I put I heat it up. I put it on my skin. Then I take my skin barrier and or my flange and I heat that up. Then I put it over this and on my skin. That way I have a good seal. I never put this on my flange. Never. And um, I always have a very good seal. And this lasts forever. Um, I'm trying to think the last time I changed it and I changed it today and I still I still wasn't broken down my 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 uh, my ostomy could have probably stayed on another day or two so that is my review on those products um, yep I will continue to use these uh, not so much the Osto Ease, um, but um, yeah, I really like the new paste, and I really, really like these rings. So I will definitely keep ordering these. Um, if you guys have any comments, ideas, uh, anything new that you guys have tried, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, and. That's all for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.